quick tip for you guys who are bulking and are finding it hard to like constantly gain weight don't track your calories now i i try tracking my calories with apps like these right not flaming the apps like the apps work super well and shit but you know you put your calorie budget and you track everything i couldn't like i, I would eat so much and like it, it would just be so like such a waste of time and I don't like being close to my phone I don't like like dialing in all these things like it's I found it a waste of time and I couldn't like I could do it for like a week straight and then I would be like damn this is this is just too annoying so I went to find another way to actually track my bulking progress now one of the things I see like guys do is like they take a picture every single day right so you take a picture every single day but from day to day, like this is one day, you don't see a difference. Like there's no difference. From a week, you don't even see a difference from a week. So maybe you're going to see a difference from a month. But when you actually start seeing difference, when like, and you take a picture, like after like a six month, like you're supposed to be, see a little bit of progress, right? You're supposed to be able to see a little bit of progress. But the actual way to know if you're progressing, because... If you, st if you just think about, like, you just look at yourself a week ago, you're going to get depressed. Like, you don't see any gains. Like, you're natty. Like, that's not how it works. If you want to actually, like, see a difference day to day, what you want to do is track your weight. You want to step on the scale early in the morning. First thing in the morning, you didn't eat anything. You're fasted. And you just add, like, your, your morning piss, right? Your morning shit. When you're at your lightest of the day you weight yourself now first what this is gonna do is tell you like shit i'm actually like pretty fucking light right like maybe at the end of the day you weigh two uh, like i weigh 210 pounds but like this is like clothed and when i'm full but like i weighed in at like 204 in the morning when i just took my piss right like this this over here i count as my actual weight it motivates me more right so what you want to do is step on the scale every single day. It's the first thing you do. And then you think about that number and you go write it in something. I write in my journal. I can show you real quick. Let me show you everything I write. But like over here in the top of the page, always write my weight. So it's, it's like this for every single pages. And I've been doing that for a while, almost a year now, I think. And I found that the best way to actually track my bulking progress and make sure I'm consistent, right? Because... And there's days you start, you weight yourself and you're like, maybe like I was 204, let's say. And then I'm like 201, like what? Like I lost three pounds, what the fuck? No, you're just dehydrated or something. But if you look like weekly, bro, you, you can see progress. Like, it, I mean, if you're not seeing progress, it's because like you're hitting a plateau or and you're simply not eating enough. So what you want to do is track it every single day. So like it's somewhere, maybe like, You've got a old page just for that, right? Or maybe you use your phone. I mean, no problem with that. I personally don't like using my phone, but and you totally can, right? So you track your weight day to day. It's, it's usually going to look like something like this. 201.4 maybe one day, and then you go back. But if you look weekly, it usually, like if you're bulking hard enough, it usually looks like a... A one pound increase every single week if you're doing it right if you're not seeing a one pound increase every single week you're not eating enough but honestly one pound increase every single week can get hard so I usually aim at like 0.5 pound increase now in two years I've gained 50 pounds so it's basically if I for the past two years I kind of bulked up 0 0.5 pound per week like hundred something weeks so yeah that's basically what I did right and tracking your weight I found it the most fun thing to do I mean you track your weight you're like oh shit I'm actually making progress right and you got these PRs weight because sometimes like you're gonna hit like you're gonna have eaten so much like at your grandma's house and like you come back bro I'm waiting in at 207 morning weight what like that's insane that's your PR that's your current PR so and to break that PR, I mean, you're going to go back at first, like the next day because you didn't eat that much. You're going to be like 204 again. 
and then you go up, you go up, you go up, and one day, oh shit, next thing you know, you're above 207. So it's kind of a fun game. You kind of see yourself as like this video game character that you're just leveling up, and you've got a marker that you can actually track. Now, if you don't have a marker that you can actually track, everything's gonna seem so vague. Like you're gonna, not gonna know. Like if you don't track your calories, you don't track your weight. And you don't even take progress picture like if you don't do like you do none of these bro what are you doing how do you know if you're making progress compared to i mean i only track my weight and i take pictures sometimes i mean if you go on the skinny to huge channel well the anabolic monkeys and you look at the skinny to huge and that's basically tracking my weight plus tracking my actual like pictures and videos of me so like I can go back from like, I mean, six months ago and see, oh shit, I mean, six months ago I was shredded, but I weighed like 10 pounds less, so, and you see this progress, right? You see this general trend, so, I mean, you're probably not going to do a skinny to huge channel like me, but maybe you can just take pictures of yourself and then see this skinny to huge, like, trend going like bigger, becoming bigger and bigger every single like week. So, track your weight, please. Like, if you want, you can still, like, I mean, this is still fine. It just did not work for me. And honestly, I, I don't know how it can work for someone. There's some people that it works for. So, if you're one of them, like, I mean, go at it, do it. But I honestly prefer just tracking my weight. And that's what I'm going to keep on doing. Now, if you want a little cheat code to that, Use a sheet of paper instead of your phone. Or maybe use your phone, but get someone to get you accountable for. Now, what I could do, my brother, you, know, you probably know him from the Anabolic Monkeys, but he actually, like, he's next door, right? He's like, this is my room and he's the next room, right? I could take my, instead of writing in my journal, write it on a sheet of paper, just stick out my door to show him that I'm gaining more than him. Uh, this is something you can do it keeps you accountable since like all the family can see it maybe you just send it to your gym bro like via via your phone right now if you do all of that you're certainly you're certainly gonna see some progress you're certainly gonna get bigger and bro i i hope this video helped you because i wish someone like would actually would have told me that i should actually track my weight because i would have seen that for like two months during like last summer, I didn't gain any weight, so I didn't make progress, right? So please just start tracking your weight. I and mean, if you want, like take pictures and shit, but I mean, tracking your weight is the only way to go, bro. It's the only way to go. Hope this video helped. If you'd be interested in me coaching you one-to-one, -one, we up on calls and shit, go click the first link in the description. And if you want to see me working out with my little bro and we're just goofing around, that's the second link in the description. It's basically like my channel where I work out. So, I hope you enjoyed. See you, bro.